Oh, I just wanted to film this because uh, I've mentioned this in another video when I was being tracked and stalked. And that was used in the plot. That little panel, the window latch. Jar. Broken time. 20 past 10 it was. He told me the clock never worked. Nice well, Farnborough clock house roundabout. I wanted to record the, uh, the clock because I was told it was breaking. But I knew it wasn't. I'm not sure if that's the real time. But it has moved since I last looked it. So the clock's working, just for my own record. Old listed building. That's where my uh, street theatre event happened. That public house there, um, it's one of the old, oldest pubs in England. Uh, Oliver Cromwell's brother, Blood's there. It used to be called the Tumble Down Dick, but it wasn't named. People used to think it was named after Richard uh, Cromwell, but it wasn't. And uh, McDonald's, the local public, fought to keep it open, but then they, then somebody done a switcheroony, and McDonald's ended up with it. So there's all this uh, public battle to keep it in the keep it as a public house. But um, in the end, McDonald's won. But it looks like they've renovated it. It was derelict, so it's had some money spent on it. But that's the oldest pub in England. It's in the Doomsday Book, apparently, I think. Right, I'm heading off to St Michael's Abbey. What a monstrosity. Right. <coughs> Greetings. This is um, an update on um, a video I posted on uh, sophisticated um, persecution um, targeting of individuals with uh, a sophisticated technology and uh, um, I filmed a few clips recently of some of the props that they used and uh, one was a clock house tower and uh, in my local town in Farnborough and a picture in which I mentioned in the testimony so I wanted to include include that and give some uh, update on on my thoughts and reasoning this through and looking back in hindsight and um, I'm coming to the clu conclusion and the uh, pondering about this, praying about this and trying to piece what this activity is, who it's coming from because we see darkly and it's uh, impossible to tell but I've had this um, persecution uh, quite a long time now and it's been evident in, in my whole life from my childhood and there's been episodes where it's been more prevalent than others and it intensified um, after I was born again and saved um, but I was still on the end of it and reviewing, uh, I gave my, just recorded a video of my testimony of how I got um, hooked into the Mormon church as a babe and deceived and uh, temporarily, thank God and how the Lord delivered me out of that system by grace and um, I want to give some uh, just just some ad additions about that testimony that I gave on and posted on video and I filmed the clock tower and noticed that the estate agents are gone it's gone empty so I'm wondering if that was a, a consequence of that because I believe they were involved um, but I don't know it's just a just a thought I wanted to include but um, reviewing the whole the whole episode 
and having a life review and praying about this and recent persecutions trying to figure out well where's this coming from and I personally believe it's the uh, Church of Rome and I personally believe that I am um, a, a seed of Israel um, I, I can't confirm that through uh, any scientific evidence it's just something personal through my testimony that, the, that I believe I've been um, prompted and shown by the Holy Spirit that, that that's in fact the truth that um, I'm part, I, I can't say I'm fully but I believe it's on my dad's side and um, I believe that this persecution it faces all most seed of Israel and um, I, I, I'm starting to, to consider are, are all the people that are targeted and there's um, a narrow band of individuals that are um, harassed and uh, netted and gated and targeted and persecuted through all avenues um, now that is uh, offered by the devil because he hates the Jews, he hates the Jewish seed um, before I was saved I experienced many blessings but also cursings so I have a lot of testimony pointing to that fact throughout my walk and uh, throughout my life and I think that that is the reason and it's to do it's, it's the Catholic Church who or people behind or uh, in the Catholic Church or or the beast under the Catholic Church or the different avenues Freemasonry religions um, all, all those secret covert dark connections and evil men who who are not believers and they uh, practice these things without conscience and they, they test on babies and all, all sorts of um, testimonies I've, I've read and confirmed what I've experienced and um, built a picture of, of these happenings and uh, so I've been re reviewing everything recently and, and that's, that's what my conclusion is that the seed of Israel are known they're genetically traced because of beat, uh, cause the, in, the knowledge of breeding and the knowledge of bloodlines and uh, a rate, you know, manipulating family circumstances to affect their family and steer their lives. And I believe reviewing that uh, episode, I was one, trying to wonder what what it was all about. And I believe it was part of uh, trauma-based conditioning, which is commonly referred to as MK Ultra. But I, you know, before I think this is gone on anciently before him the knowledge was around and practiced long before the operation paperclip as it was um, originally termed of this uh, covert experimentation and, and trauma based conditioning to, to be uh, social engineering to control the mind control the individual uh, behavior techniques and uh, manipulation and it all ties into se sexual ritual, satanic abuse, paedophile rings, the whole the whole nest and uh, I, look, reviewing that testimony of the covert targeting and, and the sophisticated uh, upgrade in my persecution and how there's covert people netting me around my life and following me trying to trying to own me and trying to condition me into behave you know behaving in a way they want to and I believe that was to trigger um, trigger like uh, they had a it's almost like they've they have plans and I think plans are just if, if, if one area fails and then they will try another approach and, and I believe that this was uh, the plan that they they had created for me that they were trying to um, induce and trigger uh, trigger me to I believe be something like a kind of a false prophet and a false witness and uh, to destroy uh, the gospel and but on a bigger scale I think on a because of my character and because of um, my trauma based conditioning on a negative side I could be really uh, really quite careless in what I would say but thanks to the Lord and the Holy Spirit you know 
you know, the Lord's got a break on me, so um, they, they couldn't have any power over me. But I, I experienced the power that they hold and the techniques, the crude techniques and the the wickedness of it and the cruelness of it. And the, it's just totally inhumane, the way they uh, uh, treat people. And, and I believe it's because it, what's behind it is the uh, persecution of the seed and breeding programs and mixing Jewish blood with uh, the circumstances to um, breed with Gentiles and, and then create create a model that they can manipulate and use in, in various programs and, uh, and I think that's a lot of behind a lot of celebrities and uh, it weaves into I don't mean on a um, the social engineering of masses I, I think this is targeted engineering on certain individuals to, to create a certain model of person like super soldiers if you know anything about super soldiers how they try to condition a um, program a person through manipulating their circumstances and then having the ability to trigger them into action so the program kicks in and I think that's what this um, this street theatre event was about to trigger me into action but it, it failed it come off the rails and then I just afterwards following straight after that was more persecution uh, but I think they gave up on the idea and just now they just decided to try and get rid of me through trying to covertly destroy my health and uh, bump me off quietly and um, it just all smacks of uh, the Gestapo the techniques it's all I've seen it's so evident of the how the uh, the German secret police uh, followed Jews around and aggregate, followed them, targeted them, pinpointed them, put them on a list and they'd get civilians involved um, and you know later on in, in in World War II as you know that they um, even got Jew Jews to police the Jews so you know they set their own people again, they compromise one person and use, uh, utilize their fear to target somebody of their own kind and um, and there's nothing new under the sun as, as uh, King Solomon uh, testified in the Word of God in Ecclesiastes. There's nothing new under the sun, and it's the same pattern of behaviour. So it, it to me it all re it all goes back to the uh, like the Third Reich and that sort of model, which is the Jesuit model, which is the Roman Catholic Church, and I can see that evident throughout my family's but. Uh, my family's history, how they used and abused and uh, you know manipulated and persecuted and uh, covertly, because it's the beast that uh, that was and is not, but yet is. You know, it's so it is, but it's co it's not because it's covert. It hasn't got a, a world power. It's not on the throne. The Pope's not on the throne. He, um, the world reverences him as a spiritual leader, but he, he's not in power, only in his own little world, only in his own little island. But he hasn't got a world power on the stage, so he, ha so he has to manipulate other, other powers to do his bidding. And the Pope believes that he's the temporal ruler and spiritual ruler on earth. And um, the world's ignorant of that fact, but it's a living reality. And these powers, I believe, are targeting the, 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 the seed of Israel and their bloodlines, manipulating them, using them cruelly in all sorts of throwaway projects and a whole diverse branch of uh, behaviours. And um, I believe that's what currently on, on, on the end of my uh, current targeting and uh, electronic harassment and I think it's harp technologies and I, I've studied harp for, and uh, listened to uh, the actual professor who who was part of uh, working, I can't remember his name but he worked on the uh, he was a scientist in charge of the harp in the Antarctica so I know the capabilities over, over the horizon, radar how they can put a computer and 
um, program the energy and focus it in, in certain means, create patterns in the sky, uh, focus it in a narrow beam, uh, add up extra things to the signal, tap into the um, magnetic field around the earth, what they call ley lines, and uh, utilize that grid to um, channel the energy that, that's on the end of a computer or a program, so whatever the program is. They can um, give this uh, energy like a radio beam intelligence and then it can feed back or it can uh, pinpoint accuracy, accuracy and they can communicate to uh, nuclear submarines anywhere in the world f f by firing this uh, signal over the, over the horizon or bounce it off the ionosphere to get to its target or they can fire it into the ground and get it to come up at another point the same, the same much, um, it's got so much capability but the media uh, dumbs it down and says oh no it can't do that, it's all paranoia but if you actually listen to the people who built it they explain full well what it's capable of and, and so you get, uh, you get lies on the media to um, dump, you know, uh, lessen the reality of it and keep it under wraps, and um, it, that's what I believe I'm experiencing. So where that, where it's coming from, who, who's on the end of that? I believe so, the, under the authority of the Catholic Church or of the uh, false prophet, uh, and using all certain employing certain bodies to persecute uh, and target uh, individuals even Christians, even uh, people, anybody they they seem a threat they're going to target and this, this technologies are uh, getting more and more sophisticated but thank the Lord he delivered me through these and uh, you know I stand, I'm not, I'm not afraid and I'm not going to compromise but that's that's what I wanted to consider how it's utilised and why, and that's what that's what I'm starting to come to understand little by little, line upon line. And uh, that's not that's not being overturned. That's just reinforcing. So um, I'm not saying I say of the Lord, but uh, that's what I believe and that's what I've experienced. And and uh, until I know otherwise, I, I I'm gonna you know continue in faith to uh, consider these things, study these things out, pray about them and, and I keep getting the same answers, the same promptings and coming to the same conclusion but it, it becomes a bit more clearer my vision becomes a bit more sharper, the more understanding and the more knowledge I get on this subject so praise the Lord for that and um, so if you are a targeted individual um, you may very well be uh, from the seed of Israel and uh, you need to repent of your sins and confess your sins and return to your your Lord and your Messiah and you simply do that by faith and belief and calling upon the name of Jesus Christ pray, pray to God the Father and call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ pour your heart out seek the Lord of all your heart in fear because there's no deliverance other than the way provided which has been dispensed and that's, that's the blessed Lord Jesus Christ and um, that's all I've got to share really that's the only thing worth sharing to anybody and um, I wouldn't give up that for anything in this world um, but the Lord knows my weakness and the Lord knows my strengths and uh, I trust my Lord and that's the conclusion I reach and this whole sophisticated uh, targeting you know it does go on it does happen so beware if you've not experienced that um, but don't fear it because the Lord will deliver you through it and if you uh, study it through and get some knowledge on the, on, on the means and the ends you'll be equipped to stand through it because if you have no knowledge you can really get thrown about by it and destroyed I believe you'd be destroyed if you're if the Holy Ghost wasn't with you to get you through it but even with the Holy Ghost you could really get smashed about and you'd wonder at it what hit you 
but if you're uh, strong in the Lord, you, you've got more chance of, um, you know, um, enduring it, enduring the persecution, and you know, get through it. But it, but, it, but you'll find it, it once you've um, triumphed through one attack, you'll get it's followed up by another one. So knowledge is key. Uh, the Lord said, "My people perish for lack of knowledge." So knowledge is key. Uh, to study these things out because they're a reality and um, it, we seem to be fast approaching the uh, the end times and the beginning of the tribulation and there seems to be uh, moves being made towards that end to get that uh, temporal leader in power um, I don't know how far we off but I, I, I honestly looking at my own life I think that we're po possibly the generation that will be raptured, but I'm, I'm not saying thus saith the Lord, that's going to come to pass in our generation, but I'm, I'm going to look up in that hope, whether I, whether I see that or not, I'm still going to carry that hope until the day I die, or the day that we are raptured. And um, if you're not a believer and you're being persecuted, I'd, I'd just encourage you to seek the Lord, seek the living God and know him and be known by him and then and then you'll be strong you'll be strengthened you'll be uh, empowered um, to have the Lord's hand with you to resist these things to overturn them and uh, that will increase your your confidence that will increase your boldness that will increase your resilience but your life will never be the same again you're never going to get go back to the to it being um, a nice, you know, a peaceful world, <clears throat> because this world is going to be in turmoil. Um, it, there's like birth pangs, if you like, and it's getting um, the devil's making mo more moves and moves, trying to kick the door down and and get in, get in, get into the throne room of, of power and. Uh, so any, you know, that could be any time soon, I don't know. Um, so I wanted to include the little clips I filmed of the, of the props I used. And, if, and I'll put a link to my testimony if you just come across this and um, want to look it up. Um, and I believe that they were, I think they were trying to suggest that they were somebody but that they weren't, like they were... Um, British military intelligence. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Now maybe the Pope has infiltrated the uh, military, you know, the British military intelligence, and he's got um, a branch in there, a shadow branch that was utilised. But um, I think it was possibly to be uh, anti my nation and anti law, you know, like lawless, and uh, turn me against uh, the the, gov the lawful powers and uh, distort my um, image, wear me down, and that's what they do. They wear you down till you're vulnerable and you can't take much more, and you're sleepy and your your mind's not thinking straight, and then this powerful grip comes upon you and it can sweep you away. It can blow you away like chaff, and um, and it. And it's only because of the Lord Jesus that I was able to resist it and shake it off. But it, um, I've never experienced something so powerful. And uh, it's um, there's an intelligence on this uh, energy, and it's a demonic intelligence as well because the heart of it is uh, completely, completely devoid of any love. It's evil. It's hateful. It's cold. It's calculated and. That gives power to demonic spirits, I believe, to be uh, threaded intelligently on this signal, and then that signal's channeled into souls, into people. And if you haven't got the strong man in your house, how on earth are you going to resist such a powerful? Um, you've got no defence, no defence whatsoever, because I believe when I was in hospital. And they took my DNA, and they done that covertly. They never asked me. They just stuck it in my mouth. And they had to. And the person who done it wasn't. I don't even know who they were. They were, They just come onto the ward I was on, and I saw them coming up the hall. And they and they walked past me, 
and then round the side of me and I didn't, I, I didn't know what they did. doing I thought you know and there was a sink just by me so I thought oh, perhaps they were doing some cleaning because this person had a polythene apron on and then in the corner of my mouth was stuck a swab and then the person hurried off really quickly and I shouted after them what are you doing and they just said oh it's for your to test if you got super bugs and, and I was re being released that day so I thought well that ain't, that's not right that, that was dirty that was so where's my DNA going and I, and I couldn't I couldn't redeem it, it was gone, the person was off the ward and I wasn't in a fit state to, I had a drip so I couldn't run after the person and there was um, the hospital today, there's just so many different people the doctor station weren't paying any attention to what was going on in the ward it, 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 you're just so vulnerable and um, I believe that that DNA was uh, taken and then they can uh, map your genetic code they can um, and then use that in technology to uh, know how your body works to know how your you know I, I don't have the knowledge here but I imagine they can work certain things out from your genetics uh, perhaps um, how you what, what freak you know how your brain works your per it's like your personal code it's like your personal bl blueprint so people with the knowledge could exploit that to design a signal to uh, trick your own electrical signals in your brain to override your own body and I imagine like fingerprints we've all got our own unique functioning behavior perhaps and so um, I don't I don't really know but I believe that that's what I was on the end of and then this uh, targeting got very sophisticated after that and um, I could almost, I, 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 I learned and discovered that by that um, they can track you by satellite without um, having a microchip like X. They can triangulate your position anywhere, in the, wherever you are. And, um, and I believe that's why they wanted my DNA. And uh, that's, all, that's what they use my DNA for. So it went to a private body and uh, that private body were the people on the end of my targeting and all my targeting throughout my life through my childhood through my trauma based conditioning and it was to uh, initiate that program I believe uh, to be like a false prophet perhaps to counteract the to make the world think that it's the period of tribulation rather than to take the heat off their own you know the heat around the Catholic Church, like being the false prophet and riding on riding on the beast and on seven hills. So they got to try and create distractions to take the heat away from them, to take the fo the world's focus away from not finding out what what Christians know, what Bible believers know about who he is and what he is. And they've always known throughout history the. Uh, that, that that is the uh, counterfeit uh, church, the you know the the false church, the whore, the mother of harlots, and all their sisters um, attached to it. The ecumenical movement, the World, World Council of Churches, the Evangelical Alliance, <coughs> all the false you know the false born again Christian alliance, and the, uh, all the churches together, and then all the people behind that, the beast the beast system and all the, all the components in the beast and so that's what was persecuting me and they used my DNA to uh, so they can track me on satellite so it's easy to coordinate um, people around you because that's what they were testing that's the first thing that, that happened was that there was um, possibly 10 to 12 people no matter where I went they would they would coordinate people behind me in front of me, the same people, you know, like rotating wherever I went, walked, and I, I walked quite a distance, possibly about 15 miles around my, sort of, around my, t orbited my house in a random pattern, and, and every everywhere I went, they were there, I'm trying to, trying to um, make, you know, like chess, trying to checkmate me and make, make out that they own me, but um, praise the Lord, I didn't, uh, I, I, I didn't bite, I didn't 
feel intimidated. I felt uh, but the Lord was with me that uh, they could, you know, what, what's the worst they can do? They're going to harm me. What haven't they? So they were preparing me for that event, that street theatre event, which went belly up. And that dispersed, and then I, then they just start persecuting me and targeting me from wherever they are, anywhere in the world. They could utilise their technology. I know the components are there. I know the capabilities there. So you put one and one and one together, you get two. You know, two and one, you get three. So I can add it up, and that's where I believe the Holy Spirit's pointed my. Uh, discernment and um, working out how these things work and then that's my conclusion and, that, and, and I'm, I'm standing by that at the moment so I wanted to give that testimony and to reach out to anyone any brother and sister going through this just, just to hang on and and, and um, draw near to the Lord and put all your cares upon the Heavenly Father and, and the Lord will deliver you through it and build you through it and uh, don't give up hope and uh, don't don't let it um, intimidate you so much. Although it's awful, it is a really awful experience. But you do become more resilient to it, and you'll outgrow it. And the Lord will put you on top of it, and you'll see a lot of victory. You'll see a lot of people turned away, and um, the Lord will speak to you through the. You study the Word. He he reassure you and show you what He's doing in your life to His glory. And to so, hang in there. If that if you are a Christian, you're suffering this, or you're a seed of Israel and you're suffering this. To seek the Lord, uh, read read um, Ezekiel chapter thirty four. How the Lord loves his sheep and he he goes out after them. But um, if 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 you don't want to be rescued, you're, if you're not looking, he's not coming. But if you start looking, he's he'll be out there to meet you. He's on his way, it's whether you, you're you on your way, like the prodigal son. You need that change of heart, you need to realise you spent your life on uh, lust and uh, sin. You need to go back to where you, uh, where your inheritance is, where your first love is, and your first love is your Lord, and your, your God. And he, 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 he's died, he's got his... Uh, Isaiah 49, I think, he says it, um, the, the seed are written on the palms of his hands, he, he'll never forget his seed, he'll never forget his people. It's only because his people have forgotten him that they're forsaken because of their unbelief. So if you are, if you are persecuted, I'd, I would consider these things and fear the Lord and seek the Lord because he's loving and merciful and he, he's just jealous to help you, jealous to deliver you jealous to rescue you, jealous to give you abundance of love and life and peace over this turbulent captivity that we're, we're experiencing in the UK and um, who knows how it's going to unfold, how, how, how what, what, what's the next move, is it, you know, um, I don't know, but I, I know that these powers exist so they, those powers may uh, bro branch out and incorporate other pro second hands to uh, widen the net and they might uh, um, spread out their workload and start targeting more people because they, you know, they got their eyes and ears and fingers in every pie they can pretty much work out what a person roughly what, what a person is um, loyal to and what a person isn't loyal to are they are they malleable? Are they going to be a dissident? Are they, you know, are they going to vote for Brexit? Are they going to stand up against the truth? If they think that you're um, a threat to this beast, to these powers in uh, Europe and uh, where, and and the powers on the end of that, which is ultimately the devil. If and if they, if you're a good conscientious person, you're likely to be targeted. And um, you know, looking through people's experience, they seem to um, go for people who are uh, deemed a threat in whatever degree, whether they're intelligence, whether they're going to work things out, whether they're just going to not stand for it. They're going to be looking out for people like that to 
to nip it in the bud, so I'd be warned. And I'd be uh, cautious to think it's a load of cranks, it's a load of tinfoil hatware as well. Because they, they, enjoy, they will enjoy targeting people who are completely naive, and, and then those people won't be able to handle it. And, and they'll just be tormenting those people and getting off on it because some of these people are narcissists they, they they employ people who are like that who will do it without question and get paid for it and they will get a right thrill once they let loose on you they don't care you know there's no um, equal opportunities in the underworld it's you know as long as you, they, they get the job done they use anybody and the people they use, well, what sort of people do you think they're going to use? They're not going to use kind, conscientious people, are they? They're going to use narcissists, people who who they can manipulate to do that sort of thing. So um, I'd be careful and um, if you haven't got the knowledge on these things, I'd, I'd suggest you study it out. So I want to close there. Um, pray for my brothers and sisters for a, a blessing and strength and for the... The Lord's word to have free course uh, in your life, in your heart first, and then and then sharing the gospel and reaching out to people, uh, because we're in a urgent time and souls need saving, and that's why the Lord, you know, that's what the Lord's purpose is to save all men and women, to save all souls, and that's what that's the period we're going through. It's a, a fight for souls. It's a battle for souls. So I pray for your soul, I pray for the world's souls, and I'll close it in the holy, blessed name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen.